Microsoft Flight Simulator is a very demanding piece of software, and getting good performance in VR can be extremely challenging. This can often lead to very expensive PC builds, particularly with GPU prices as they are. So you might be very surprised when I tell you you can eke more performance out for absolutely no cost at all. And better yet, this should take no more than a couple of minutes of your time. No complex guides, no long lists of graphic settings, you simply need to do one thing. Upgrade your graphics driver. NVIDIA released version 511.23 of their GeForce Game Ready driver. This came out on Friday the 14th of January. I was previously using version 497.29, which was released on the 20th of December 2021 and is the direct predecessor to the current driver. So all of these comparisons I'm about to show you are between these two drivers. On my gaming system, which has an RTX 3080 Ti and a Ryzen 5800X, I was seeing roughly a 4% improvement in frame rates, and I've been able to replicate these results many times. I've tried a few different flights, starting in my home country. I flew low over London, a very demanding environment under the best of circumstances. With the old driver, I was seeing an average frame rate of 43 frames per second, which is pretty good. It provides a nice smooth experience and reprojection can add in those missing frames and boost the frame rate up to 90 frames per second. However, with the newer driver installed, I saw this average frame rate jump to 44.6 frames per second. That's an increase of 3.7%. Similar results flying over New York with a city add-on purchased from the market. On the old driver, I was seeing an average frame rate of 42.2 frames per second. And New York is just about as demanding an environment that you will find in the entire game, simply down to the scale and volume of the buildings. This had a healthy increase with the new driver of 3.3%, boosting those frames up to 436 and that might not sound like a lot, but remember huge tech companies invest significant amounts of cash and resources into boosting their product by these sorts of margins. And you can have it completely for free with no more than a couple of minutes of effort. Flying out of one of the most dangerous airfields in the world, Lukla, which is where many budding mountaineers looking to summit Mount Everest will find themselves arriving before a long trek to base camp. This sits at an elevation of over 9,000 feet and has some of the most beautiful scenery in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I saw a phenomenal improvement in frame rates of 6.7%, boosting them up to 47.5 frames per second. This was from 44.5 frames per second, and this means that you are getting a very smooth and consistent VR experience, hitting that magical number of 45 frames per second so that reprojection can do its magic. This driver means I'm getting a really smooth and consistent VR experience. I saw far less dips and stuttering with this driver. It's just really, really improved my experience. So if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, get yourself into the GeForce experience or onto the NVIDIA website, download this driver, get it installed and enjoy improved performance in Microsoft Flight Simulator. As always, I hope you're very well wherever in the world you are. Stay safe in the skies and I'll see you in my next one.